Hi, hey. Gina. How are you? I'm good. Rachel, how are you? I'm doing great. So, uh, obviously, you have had a career that I think every nerdy girl loves. And what I love about it, though, is you are just so kind of like specific but vast in your choice of characters and I think it's so cool to kind of like line them all up and be like they're all so different from one another and so what was it about this movie in particular and this character that made you want to be a part of it and like stretch the rom-com-esque even though she's she's not in the the romance part of it right. the rom-com-esque limb yes as it were yes yeah she's not in the rom she's definitely in the com yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and calm by comedy and comedically complicated, um, which was the really the biggest draw for me. She's she's such a messy um, combination of of passion and dysfunction and um, com competition. And it, she's but she's also smart and she's funny and she's human. Uh, which which also I believe makes her likable eventually. Yeah, and she is she's a woman in power, which is kind of cool because I think most of the rom com esque like women are either the romantic lead or the best friends or like a villain, but that's not like that doesn't really exist in this. Like right. everyone's kind of complicated, and it's fun to explore that. And for you though, like, is there anything that kind of like gets you in the mindset of your characters like is there something you did specifically for this movie that you're like yes this this is what i have to do to get ready for a scene honestly there was you know i i i, I do my my i study the script i study the character i study her arc like where do we begin how do we get to where we're gonna end emotionally that's all great but on but I put on my day's wardrobe and that would be all I needed. <laughs> I'd come prepared and then I'd get dressed and go, all right, here we go. Off to the races. Well, and she is obviously like, like you said, she's complicated, but she is, she's a mother who at the end of the day is just kind of like looking out for her kid. And for you though, like how did you guys kind of build the mother son relationship? And cause it is strained a bit but it's still like it's there and we can see that as the audience. Yes. Yeah. I'm so glad uh, because, you know, Keith and I had very, very little time together to sort of make all that work and, and feel right and, and organic. And so he was so lovely to work with and, um, and he just rolled with it. I mean, I did some pretty outrageous <laughs> things. So yeah, but, that was fun. And it is too, like, she clearly does also have a relationship with the Ariel Union's character. Like, they, there is something, like, between those two. Is that, for you, though, as an actress, fun to get to have those moments with, like, actresses who you both have, like, for years been fan favorites and people love watching your stuff? Is it cool to get to, like, work with Ariel Union and build that relationship with each other? Yes, 100%. Gabrielle was a joy, to work with. She was so much fun. We had so much girl talk between shots. Um, you know, it was our relationship off camera, thank God, was nothing <laughs> like the relationship between Darcy and Jenna. Um, but there, be, because we've been around as long as we have, because we've, we've circled each other just in the industry for so many years, there was such a level of trust and respect there that we really were able to, to push it and have a really good time. Yeah. And it's great to kind of see too. Like I, I was like, I had, I like the rom coms are back. It makes me very excited as someone who grew up when rom coms were every year there were like four. But for a last quick question, I just want to ask, like, what do you hope audiences take away when they get to see the perfect fight and finally? Oh, I, I I hope they just come away with a with a sense of, um, that's I'm so glad I spent my time with those people. <laughs> a, um, you know, those are, those are folks that I can hang with. I hope they come away with a sense of, of romance and, and an understanding that, uh, that it's okay to shift your dreams around because that's life, that life is sometimes messy, but it doesn't have to be the end of you. Disappointment doesn't have to be the end of you. Awesome. Thank you so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great one. Take care.